So welcome to Yoga from the Chair. I'm Audra. We're going to start sitting upright with your back away from the chair and your feet on the floor, sitting up nice and tall. Now go ahead and start by shrugging your shoulders up. Take a deep breath in. And then roll your shoulders back and down. Again, deep breath in. Now shrug up. Exhale out. Two more. And again. From here, just gonna let your hands rest on your lap and close your eyes. From here, just settle in and begin to focus on your breath, breathing in and out through your nose. As you inhale, let the breath expand to your belly, your back, your ribs, your chest. As you exhale, let the hips settle in the chair and the spine lengthens from the tailbone toward the top of your head. So upright yet comfortable seated posture. As you inhale, say in your mind, I am breathing in. And as you exhale, I am breathing out. Just taking long, full breaths. If your mind wanders off to other sounds or thoughts, just gently bring your focus back to your breath. From here, we're going to bring hands to heart. Just press the palms together and just take a moment to create an intention or a focus for your practice, for your day, remembering that where our focus goes, energy flows. So it could be for well being, could be for energy, could be for feeling more grounded or centered. So, whatever your intention, just having that in mind, take a deep breath in and exhale all the way out. And slowly open your eyes. From here, we're inhale, reach your arms all the way up, stretch up to the sky as you press through the feet as you extend up through the arms, so drop the shoulders down your back. And then exhale, bow forward towards your leg. You reach for your knees, your shins, or maybe your feet, but you want to hinge from the hips, keeping long torso so you're not rounding the back. Inhale, stretch up to the sky. Exhale and bow forward. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale and bow forward. Inhale, stretch up. And bow forward. One more time, inhale up. Exhale and bow forward. From here, we'll bring hands to knees. Roll all the way up. We're going to reach both arms up, interlace the fingers above you, pointing index fingers will stretch over to the right. Use the inhale to come back to center and exhale over to the other side. Inhale, back to side, over to the first side. Inhale, center, and again, other side. And back to center from here, just hands down onto your lap and just turn your head to the right. And then the left. And we'll come back to center. I'm going to tilt the head over to the left, stretching that right ear up towards the ceiling. You can hold here or extend out through that right arm, draw the shoulder back and then extend out through the arm as you hug in through that shoulder. A little bit more stretch through the side of your neck, fit into the collarbone, front of the shoulder. We're going to rotate that shoulder forward. Again, adjust as you need to. You do not want to have pain with any pose, so adjust as you need to. Hello, Gypsy. Then we're going to rotate the shoulder back the other direction. And we're going to lower that arm, bring the head back up. Let's switch over to the other side. So tilt the head, press that ear up, and you can stretch out through the other arm. Now rotate the shoulder forward. And then rotate the shoulder back. And 
and then lower back down. All right, we're going to take the feet a little bit wider apart, and you're going to clasp your hands behind you with the knuckles facing down, or you can go hands on hips. Take the shoulders back, extend your arms down towards the chair, and then bow forward towards the floor, towards your legs. Good now, baby. All right, release your arms. We're going to bring elbows or hands to your legs. Right. From here, sit up nice and tall so you're not slouching down. Sitting up nice and tall, we're going to take the right arm out to the side, reach up and back behind you, twist from the low back, the ribs, the shoulder, the head and neck. All right, come on back to center, press that elbow and leg, and we'll stretch up to the other side. Inhale, back to center. We'll go over to the first side. Inhale, center. And one more time, other side. And back to center. You can stay with this version too, a little bit further. Reach down towards your feet. Arms press out, legs hug in. We'll take the right arm out to the side, twist and stretch up. Come on, back to center, and we'll switch over to the other side. And then back to center. From here, we'll bring hands to knees. Roll all the way up, take a deep breath in. And a big sigh out. From here, let's extend the left leg straight out. And we're going to go hands on hips, firm the thigh. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, bow out towards your leg, just enough to feel that stretch down the back of your leg. You want to stretch your legs too? As you inhale, you can lengthen through the torso. As you exhale, maybe sink a little bit deeper. But no need to push your force. And if you need to come out of a pose, listen to your body and just come out of it, adjust where you need to. You can't breathe or smile, you're doing too much. From here, you're going to come all the way up. We're going to bend that knee. You can hold the back of your thigh or front of your shin. Don't collapse down, but sit up tall. We'll point and flex the foot. And let's circle the ankle one direction. And reverse the other way. All right, we'll lower that leg down, take the other leg out, heel on the floor, toes to the sky. Take a deep breath in, keeping the shoulders back, hinging from the hips as you bow out towards your leg. Keep that knee and toe pointing upward. As you inhale, getting in lengthen through the upper body. As you exhale, maybe take that stretch a little further. And now come all the way up. We're going to bend this knee, holding the back of your thigh, front of your shin, or simply lifting the leg up, point and flex your foot. And we'll circle the ankle one direction. And reverse the circles the other way. And we'll lower down. From here, just curl and uncurl your toes. All right, from here, go up to the hands, rub the hands together, take a big breath in, big sigh out. Now just open and close the hands, stretch through all of your fingers. And you're going to hold the hands open, and we're going to bring first finger to thumb, stretch out through all those other fingers, try to keep them straight. And we'll go to second finger, third finger, and little finger. Right, stretch them all back out. This time, take your little finger, try to bring it towards the center of your palm and keep the other finger straight. Right, don't worry if the other ones bend a bit, but see what you can do. Right, stretch back out. We'll go ring finger. And we'll go middle finger towards the palm of your hand. 
index finger you should be able to feel it in your wrists and your forearms and then thumb and from here make some circles with your wrists and reverse the circles from here take the right hand out like you're saying stop i'm going to turn the fingers out and down take your other hand press the fingers towards you as you extend out through the arm rather than locking the elbow, which lets the shoulder draw, draw up, drop the shoulder down, soften the elbow. Feel a stretch in the forearm and the wrist. And then we're gonna bring that hand to shoulder, other hand to elbow, start to take the arm up, folding from underneath, or you can hold on top, taking the shoulder down the back as you extend up through the elbow. Little tone to the belly here, so navel draws to spine to support the low back. All right, let's release that arm and we'll shake it out. Let's go to the other side, turn the fingers out and down, gently press the fingers towards you as you extend it out through the heel of your hand, relax the shoulder. And then we'll take this hand to shoulder, other hand to elbow, start to bring that arm up. Rather than the elbow being out to the side, let the back of the arm be a little more forward. And the arm and head can rest together here. And release that arm and shake it out. From your both arms at your side, just roll your shoulders up, big breath in. And roll them back and down. From here, take both arms out to cactus arms. So elbows, shoulder height. Spread the fingers to activate through the wrists and the forearms. We're going to bring the hands close together, elbows close together, as close as you can, and then wide apart. Okay, together and apart. Together, apart. Two more. Together, apart. Last one. Together and apart. All right, and just stretch both arms out. We'll go a little bit lower in the shoulders. Roll the shoulders forward, rounding through the upper back slightly, and then roll the shoulders back. And roll the shoulders forward. And roll the shoulders back. Inhale, reach both arms up to the sky. And then exhale, bow forward towards your legs. Wherever you can reach, knees, shins, maybe the feet. See where you can lift a bit through your sitting bones. Lengthen the side body from hips to armpits, the sides of your neck. From here, bring hands to knees, roll all the way up. Okay. From here, we're just gonna have hands on knees, gonna round your back a bit. And we shift over to the left, circle around a few times in one direction. As you go to the front, it's a little bit more of an arch. And then we're going to reverse the circles the other way. One more. Okay. So sitting at the back with your back, so sitting towards the back of your chair, round your back, clasp your hands in front, tuck your tailbone, tuck your chin. And then turn the palms forward, inhale, stretch up to the sky. You can look straight ahead or up towards your hands. Keep a little bend to the elbows. The shoulders aren't up by your neck, but they're dropping down the back, hugging in. Okay. Exhale and round. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale and round. Inhale, stretch up. And one more exhale, round. Inhale, stretch up. From here, you're just going to look straight ahead, bend the elbows, let the knuckles rest on top of your head, and shoulders down. Press your head up towards your hands and squeeze the fingers as if you're trying to pull apart your arms, squeeze with your fingers to hold on. Take a deep breath in and then exhale out and release your arms. I'm going to lean forward about halfway and just swing your arms back and forth, or you can make some circles. 
Are you starting mischief? It's almost her name was almost mischief. Instead, it was gypsy. Circle your arms the other way. All right, then we'll go hands to knees, roll all the way up. From here, let's pick up the right leg, kind of circle around from knee down. And reverse the circles the other way. And switch over the other leg, circle around a couple of times one way. And reverse the other way. From here, we're going to go left ankle over right and let that knee go out to the side or ankle up onto thigh. We're going to flex the foot, get balanced on both sitting bones on your chair. And you can hold on to the leg here with your hands, or you can have hands on hips, or you can even clasp the hands behind you. And from here, just sitting up tall, start to get up, stretch in your hip and thigh. You want to take it further, you can start to bow forward towards the leg. Try not to lean over to one side. Try to balance evenly. So shoulders a little bit more square to the legs. And just take some full breaths in and out through your nose. I inhale, we're going to come all the way up, and we'll take right hand over to that left leg, twisting over to the left, twisting the ribs, the shoulder, head and neck. And release, come on back to center. Let's switch over to the other leg. From here, ankle on ankle, or ankle on to thigh. Flexing the foot. Again, you can hold on to the leg. Flexing the foot gives a little more support up to that knee and hip. From here, just sitting up tall. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale. And this might be enough of a stretch for you right here. So just hold here. Otherwise, you can start to bow forward. Don't bow with your weight. Lift through the chest and bow, keeping long side body. So you're hinging from your hips. Any forward fold is always from the hips. Right, inhale, come all the way back up. And I'll just place both feet back on the floor. Take feet a little bit wider apart and do a little breath work. So we're going to just start with some lion's breath. We're going to breathe in through the nose. Exhale out through your mouth. You want to get out as much air as you can, as quickly as you can. All right, if anytime it's uncomfortable, just return to regular breath. So from here, deep breath in through your nose. And then exhale as you bow forward. And get all the air out. If it's not comfortable folding forward, you can stay upright. Again, deep breath in. But folding forward gets a little bit more air out. Exhale out. <sighs> Breathe in. Exhale out. <sighs> Two more. <sighs> Last one. As you finish up, come all the way back up to seated. <coughs> Not uncommon if sometimes you have some coughing or clearing in the process. From here, we're going to go up to the chest, tapping the fingers or gentle fists. So using sound and vibration, you can tap here in the chest. You can tap on your right armpits too. And so those lymph nodes out there. So getting that circulation up to that area. 
And we're gonna say the ah sound as long as you can. Take a deep breath in, exhale out, and say ah. When you're all in a breath, we're gonna take another breath and do it again. Big breath in. Exhale out and say, ah. And I'm just pausing, notice if your hands feel a little bit tingly, maybe you feel a little bit warmer, or maybe even your chest feels a little tingly. Just bring more circulation to that area. So let's go up to the face as well. So we're going to take one or two fingers and we're going to tap here by the cheekbones and up here by the eyebrows, alternating. And this time the sound is going to be ooh. Take a deep breath in. I'm just tapping as you say. Ooh. Let's go one more breath. Breath in. And say, Ooh. and then just pause for a moment. Notice your hands, your face, and you know, maybe it feels a little tingly or itchy or warmer, just noticing. So great for headaches, for sinus issues, bringing more circulation into the face that way. So we'll just take a deep breath in and a big sigh out. All right, from here we're gonna move on to some ujjayi breath, also, also called the ocean breath. So ujjayi breath is great because it helps to promote relaxation and calming of your nervous system. So it's great for anxiety or stress, stressful situations. And also when you need more support in a pose that comes in. Quite handy. So it's like the sound of the ocean. So hold out your hand like an imaginary mirror and you're going to fog it up with your exhale. So you exhale out through your mouth. And you can feel the slight tightening at the back of the throat. So do that same thing now. Imagine that mirror at the back of your throat and breathe in through your nose. Close your mouth and exhale out as if you were fogging up that mirror. So there's a whisper across the back of your throat. And it happens on the inhale as well. So there's a slight tightening in the back of the throat. Tongue is relaxed, shoulders are relaxed. So you can cup your hands and cover your ears and just listen for a moment as you close your eyes, breathing in the ujjayi breath and out, in and out through your nose. Letting that air move across the back of your throat. You can notice it sounds like the waves of the ocean. Just releasing your hands away from your ears and slowly opening your eyes and just noticing how you feel. So Ujjayi breath is a great breath. We're gonna do one more breath today called Nani Shodhana or alternate nostril breathing. So all these breath, these are great to practice every day. So if you just take a few minutes and pick one, uh, you know, in the morning, pick one in the evening, there's a couple of different ways you can use these breaths to bring more energy to your body or to help relax you. All right, so Nani Shodha or alternate nostril breath is a great way to help balance your left or right side of your brain. It's also great for anxiety or any kind of stress. So it's a great thing. It's a great breath to practice. So we're going to start. I like to rest my two fingers here and use my thumb and my little finger ring finger. You can do it that way because we're going to be basically covering one nostril than the other. Or you can also do it this way. I just like this way. It's a little easier on holding up your arm. So your choice. 
we're going to start with just covering the thumb over the nostril it's closest to whatever nostril is closest to take a breath in and then cover with either your ring finger or little finger or both release the thumb exhale out again breathe in through the open nostril keeping it the other one covered cover with your thumb release the other side exhale out so it's two breaths for a full round so we're going to inhale again you can close your eyes as you do this cover and hold release the other side exhale out and this is still full of belly breath inhaling to the belly the back the ribs and the chest as you breathe in cover and hold exhaling out completely through your nose each breath Now you can even use this in combination with that ujjayi breath. So as you inhale, having that whisper across the back of your throat. Cover and hold, release out the other side. As you exhale, we're going to keep doing a few more. Go at your own pace. We're going to do one more round. The round ends when you release your little finger. So, and exhale out. So, one more round, which is two breaths. And as you finish up, just release your hand with your eyes closed. Just breathe normally through both nostrils. And just notice how you feel. And slowly open your eyes. So it's not uncommon if you have one side that maybe feels a little more congested than the other, okay? Or if you need to blow your nose afterwards, having tissues around during breath work is always a good idea. Uh, so, again, sometimes that changes throughout the day. One side might be different than the other. So, just adjust as you need to. All right. So, from here, we're going to move on to some sun salutations in the chair. So, we're going to start with the heels under the knees. We'll bring hands to heart and just sitting up tall. From here, we're going to inhale, reach both arms up to the sky and looking either straight ahead or up towards your hands. And we'll bow forward towards the legs, reaching down for knees, shins, maybe your feet. Don't round your shoulders just to reach your legs there. You want to keep the shoulders back. So we're keeping engaged back, more neutral spine to support those muscles then can support the vertebrae and vice versa. Everything works together. Come up halfway and then bow down. Then we're going to sit all the way up and pick up the right leg. You can simply lift the leg. You can hold the back of your thigh or hold the front of your shin. And then we'll bow forward towards the legs. Hands on knees, we're gonna roll up from here, tuck your tailbone, tuck your chin. <clears throat> and we'll bring hands to hips, arch back, we'll look up to the sky. And then we'll bow forward. From here, we'll take the other leg up. Flexing your foot gives more support up all the way to the hip. Release and down forward. From here, we'll reach both arms up to the sky. And exhale, hands to heart, back where we started. All right, let's go again. Inhale, stretch up tall. Exhale, forward fold. Come up halfway. And bow. We'll take the right leg up. Release and bow forward. Hands to knees, roll up, tuck your tailbone, tuck your chin. And hands to hips, arch back, look up to the sky. And bow forward. 
can take the other leg up. Release and bow forward. Reach both arms up. And exhale, hands to heart. Moving with your breath and maybe even try Ujjayi breath with this next round. So inhale, stretch up to the sky. Using that ocean breath as you exhale. And as you inhale, come up halfway. And bow. Take right leg up. On the exhale, bow forward. Hands to knees, roll up, round your back, tuck your tailbone, tuck your chin. And hands to hips. On the inhale, look up. And down forward. And take the other leg up. Release and bow forward. Reach both arms up. And then hands to heart. And just pause there for a moment. Let's get a cleansing breath. Inhale. And a big sigh out. Excuse me. All right, from here, sitting a little bit forward in your chair, and both feet grounded on the floor. Okay, if you don't want to get up out of the chair today for this, that's okay. You can stay in the chair. All you're going to do is press your feet like you're standing up and then release. So you just press and release. Second option is swing the arms, come up halfway to Ukkakasana, and then lower back down. Right. Watch your chair behind you so it doesn't slide away. Come up halfway and lower down. More of a challenge will be to keep your arms up, out in front, stand up, come up halfway and lower down. You need a little more momentum than just swing the arms. So strengthening through the legs, <clears throat> just come up about halfway and you're looking, try to look mostly forward. You're not back rounding down here towards the floor, but looking forward, come up. Let's go two more. Rest if you need to. Two. Last one, see if you can hold it here. See if you can hold it. But make sure you breathe and smile. All right, from here, we're gonna stand all the way up. Oh, good morning, legs, hello. All right, arms to your side. Again, yeah, if you're not comfortable standing, you can stay in the chair. We're gonna go hands on hips, take a deep breath in, and exhale, arch back, look up to the sky. Inhale, come all the way up, and then exhale, forward fold, bowing towards your legs. You can walk your hands further down your legs. You can also do this while you're sitting in the chair. You can do the same thing sitting as we are standing. So know that you have options if you need to adjust today. And we're going to bend both knees, tuck your tailbone, roll up as you walk the hands all the way up. Shrug your shoulders up, take a deep breath in. And exhale, extend your arms to Tadasana. So standing mountain pose, spread the toes a bit. Reach both arms up and just interlace your fingers, pointing index fingers, stretch over to the right, pressing down through that left leg to help anchor you. Inhale, back to center, and then stretch over to the other side. Inhale, center, we'll go over to the first side. Inhale, center, and again, other side. And back to center. From here, we'll bring hands to hips. And get arch back, look up to the sky, firm the glutes as the hips press forward. Inhale, come all the way up. And then exhale, walk your hands down the legs. Lifting the same bones towards the sky, letting your head relax down. Soft knees, no need to lock any joints. Feeling that stretch through the backs of the legs. Try to sense the heels as well as the balls of the feet grounded. And we're gonna bend the knees, 
roll all the way up. Again, shove your shoulders up, take a deep breath in, and extend your arms out to Tadasana. All right, from here, we're gonna do a little bit of balance. So, standing up, you can stand behind your chair. I'm gonna turn mine to the side so you can see me. Okay, so you can stand behind the chair facing this way, but I'm going to turn forward so you can see me. Let's just start hands on hips, and we'll shift the weight over to the right leg. Bring your left toes alongside. Okay, don't kick that hip out. Bring the hip in. Hold on to that chair if you need to. And then maybe bring the leg up higher. Press foot and leg together. Tailbone lengthens down, shoulders back. And then look out in front. Find a spot on the wall, something that's not moving. It's called your drishti, or your focus point. You maybe take one arm up, maybe one finger on the chair. Okay, determine, don't forget to breathe. Keep hugging the midline, imaginary line down the center of the body, drawing in. Maybe extend both arms up. Breathe in, breathe out. If you lose your balance, just put your foot down. You don't really have much choice. All right, go ahead and lower down. From here, we'll switch over to the other side. So weight into that left leg, bring the right foot alongside. Okay. So those muscles hug in, the glute, the hip, support that joint. Maybe bring the leg up higher. You can even take your hand and place that foot up on your inner thigh. But depending where you're at today, we don't want to slide down. So you really have to hug back to that midline. And then navel draws to spine, shoulders back. Get steady. Maybe take one arm up. Find that focus point, breathing in, breathing out. And one side might be easier to balance than another. All right, let's go ahead and lower that thing down. From here, <clears throat> a little bit easier to turn to the side. So again, using that chair, just going to shift over to your left foot. Take your right toes back. From here, you're going to reach for the top of that foot. If you can't reach, you can go for your pant leg. Or you can just bend the leg here with the leg back behind you. Bend the leg. Otherwise, reaching with the hand. Once you've got your foot, hug the thighs back together. Spread your toes, shoulders back. Okay. It's easy. You want to lean forward. But we're going to stand upright. Again, holding on to that chair. Breathe in, or maybe take the arm up, finding that focus point, breathing in and out through your nose. And then we'll release that leg. From here, we'll switch over to the other side. So take the toes back. And again, you can even just be here, press the hips forward. You should get a little bit of stretch in the front of your hip. Otherwise, we're going to hold on to that foot. If your leg cramps up, come out of it. Hug the thighs together, shoulders back, spread your toes. It's not uncommon sometimes when the leg cramps up, so you just come out of it. Maybe take the arm up. Spreading your toes does help a bit like that. And then release, lower that leg down. We have a little a person here, a little cat, kitty cat watching from the corner underneath the curtain here. <laughs> it's like finding a hidden creature. <laughs> From here, have hands on the chair, we'll take elbows with the chairs, just walk the legs back, hips, knees, and ankle step, and down forward towards your legs. You can hold here or walk your hands further down the chair, or even to your legs or the floor, bowing your head. Lift through the sitting bones. From here, just bend the left knee slightly as you keep the other leg straight. Get a little bit more stretch through the legs. And then we'll switch to the other side. And then straightening both legs, lengthening the neck, lengthening the side body from hips to armpits, 
And yeah, if your hands are on the floor, you want to be using either fingertips, flat palm. You don't want to be fingers down, palm up. It's a lot on your wrist. So claw that floor a bit with the hands. And then we're going to bend both knees. We'll bring hands to legs and roll all the way up. From here, just charge your shoulders up. Take a big breath in. And exhale out to Kadasana. All right, from here on your mat, going a long way, so you're going to step feet wide apart. Again, you can have the chair in front of you for some support. You need to hold on to it. Otherwise, feet, toes are facing forward. And from here, we're going to go ahead and bow forward, wide angle forward, forward. Make sure your legs are at least as wide as your elbows, not wider than your hands. Okay, so shoulders back, tailbone lengthens, like belly's engaged, hinging from the hips as you bow forward. Imagine you're hugging in through the legs as if you're playing together. Walk your hands down your legs, or again, maybe to the floor. Or if you're using the chair, you can hold on to that as well. As is comfortable, you can start to bow further from the hips. Let your head relax down. I'm done. Press the toes a bit so you can sense the ball of the foot and the heel, left and right sides, rounding to the earth, and then drawing up to the thighs as you firm the thighs, keeping the knees soft, feeling that lengthening through the legs. From here to come out, we're going to bend the knees, bring the hands to the legs or the chair, roll all the way up. Okay. Let's turn the left foot out to the short side of your mat and back foot stays as it is. We're going to go ahead and bend the knee on that left leg. You can go hand on your thigh or elbow on your thigh, or you can even hold the chair as well. We'll take the other hand to hip. And then take the shoulder back, the ribs back, sides of your neck back, or you're dropping your head. And you can keep the hand on the hip or stretch the arm up. Now, if your elbows start to bend to reach over, bring your arm a little more forward, get the arm straight, draw back into your shoulder, and then start to take the arm up. Again, you can hold on to that chair if you need to as well. To come out, we're going to turn towards that knee or bring hands to the leg. Come all the way up. Okay. Now we're going to switch. You can step this leg up. I'm going to turn this way, though, so I'm still facing you rather than having my back to you. So turning that foot out to the short side of the mat. And bend the right knee and have hand or elbow on the thigh. You want that knee to track about with the base of your second toe so it's not turning in or out. And it's pretty much over your ankle, okay, behind the toes. Take the hand on the hip, draw the ribs back, shoulders back, breathe in, breathe out. Again, you can hold here or stretch up. A little bit easier to look down towards your foot, <laughs> as I say for balance. When you switch where you're looking, you can throw off your balance. So looking down at the foot gives you a little more balance once you're steady. Then you can maybe look out to the side. Take a deep breath in and let it out. All right. From here, we'll bring hands back to the knee. Come all the way up. We'll turn the feet in and step your feet back together. Just take a big breath in, big sigh out. Let's do breath of joy today, too. So just make sure you get some space around you. So it's three part breath. We're going to breathe into the base of the lungs, the ribs, and the chest. And you're going to all, exhale it all out through your mouth. A little bit easier to do this thing, but nothing wrong at all with doing it in the chair. We do have some arm movements that go with it. So in the inhale, we'll come inch forward, and inhale side, inhale all the way up, and then exhale, I like to bend my knees, and let all the air out. All right, so adjust as you need to. It is a joyful breath, so you don't have to be stiff about it, loosen up a bit. All right, take a big breath in first, big sigh out, 
Here we go. Inhale, arms front. Inhale, arms side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale out. Inhale. 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 Exhale. Inhale. 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 Exhale. Inhale. 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 Exhale. Two more with a smile. Inhale. 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 Exhale. Last one. Inhale. 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 Exhale. And shake it off. All right, from here, you have the option to go down on the floor onto your mat and lie on your back. I'm going to head back to the chair today. <clears throat> so, lying down onto your mat, you can hug your knees into your chest and rock from side to side on your back. Otherwise, in the chair, we'll just go hands on knees and circle around a few times. And reverse the circles. All right, coming back to center. All right, from here, we'll bring knees and ankles close together. If you're on the mat, it's going to be knees to chest. And we're just going to take a knee down twist. So in the chair, we're going to go left hand on the leg, other hand on your hip or the chair, and just twist from the upper body and look over your shoulder. And we'll switch over to the other side. You'll notice on the exhale, you might be able to go a little bit deeper in the twist. And down. Mm -hmm. And release, come on back to center. Take a full body stretch, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, take a big breath in, and a big sigh out. One more deep breath in, and let it out. So from here, we're going to set up for Shavasana. If you're on the mat, you can just lie flat on the mat with the legs a foot or so apart, arms by your sides. More support your back, bend your knees, place your feet wide apart and knees just rest together. In the chair, you can sit back into the chair. Don't slump down. See where you can still sit up and use the support of the chair for nice upright posture. Hands rest in your lap. Now just close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Blow out like an imaginary straw. It's in your mouth. Blow all the air out. Let's do two more like that. Deep breath in. Let it out. Last one, breathe in, let it out. From here, just breathing normally, allow yourself to settle into comfort. So we always start our practice with centering. We always take a few moments for the end for Shavasana or final relaxation to integrate all of the movement, the breath work, allow our body to really get that at a cellular level, get that muscle memory, cellular memory. So just allowing yourself to relax. There's nothing you need to do here. You think about the idea of relaxing the muscles around your eyes and your jaw, your head and your neck. It's just by having that awareness of intention to relax, you create a greater sense of ease that flows across your shoulders and down your back. Feel it extend out into the arms, moving all the way down to the wrists and the hands, and the fingers. You might sense this as a warmth or a tingling, maybe as a heaviness or a lightness. However, you notice it, just notice that in your body. So when you know what relaxation feels like, you can connect to that anytime just by saying, okay, let's just take a moment to breathe and relax. So feel your back supported, feel the hips sink and connect to that grounding earth energy beneath you. Now you're extend all the way down through your legs, 
your knees, your ankles, your feet, and your toes. So for this moment, nowhere to go, nothing to do. Allow yourself to simply be. If any thoughts come to mind, and they will, imagine them like clouds just floating by. So you can notice them, but you're not holding on to them. You're not resisting them. Just noticing what is all the while connected to that deeper sense of calm and ease. Simply being. Keeping your eyes closed, slowly begin to deepen your breath. Just taking a moment to appreciate that breath. It brings new life and new energy into our body. And gently wiggle your fingers and toes. on the mat, you can hug your knees up to your sides or up to your chest and roll over onto your side. And then press up to a comfortable seated posture. And then from here, in a seated posture, we'll just bring hands to heart and just bowing to the heart. Taking a moment to appreciate that pause. Pause between movement, between thought, between breath. So anytime we feel ourselves challenged, we can always come back to the present moment by just recognizing the breath. So remember, we have the opportunity throughout our day to do that. So from here, we'll just bow to one another, wishing peace and happiness. Namaste.